Hello, welcome back to Kenshi. I haven't played, I haven't recorded for a little while. I've been playing off camera. Um, as you can see, all of my people are on jobs and they are moving about in sneak mode. Yes, yeah, so I did make a recording that I will not be releasing. Uh, the recording was about um, armor. Basically, it was just me talking about armor, going through a whole bunch of uh, characters and their armor, reading out stats, comparing stats. And basically, it was like an hour of me talking about armor. It was like a kind of like a deep dive into armor and just comparison stats. But I decided not to release it because it's boring. <laughs> it's just me reading out stats one by one for each character, and then comparing all the little pieces and parts, and then me running over to the armor shop and trying to get the best gear that I can. So um, yeah, it was just uh, really boring. I think for me, it was a learning experience, but it would have been a boring, not very entertaining episode. So I'm like, uh, some people might like that, but... I decided not to release that video. Um, instead, well, after that, then I decided to play off camera because I wanted to focus, have a laser focus on um, strength. So we are strength trading. Everyone has encumbrance at least 50% or over. And then they are all mining. So they're mining back and forth, walking back and forth to the storages. And as they're doing all of that, they're in sneak mode and they're improving their strength and their sneak all at once. And I've been doing this for like a long time, <laughs> probably like a 10 or I think, I don't remember the, uh, the day we were on in the last episode, but I think it was still like in the seventies. Yeah. I think we we're still in um, day 70 something in the last episode. So. Uh, we are now on day 83, so I think I've been playing at least 10 days, 10 days off camera. Yeah, so um, my goal, I want to be laser focused on strength, and my goal is to make everybody reach strength of 60. And I don't know why I picked that. <laughs> I, I don't know why I picked that number, but I felt like it was a good number to pick. <laughs> I think um, I was inspired because I saw Logan. Right now, Logan is leading in strength. So here's Logan's stats. Um, his strength is at 46. And he is one of the uh, newest recruits. He started out with a strength of 3, I believe. And now he's at 46. And he's leading everybody. Yeah. So if you look here, strength 46. Um, if you compare it to everybody else... Um, Firestone's strength is 33, and she was the first one on the map, so, <laughs> uh, Ruka's strength at 42, Kang at 41, Ice 35, Sky 33, Khaled 36. So, as you can see, um, Terran 39, Griffin 41, Taka, uh, 35, and then Molly and Aria are the, the latest addition to, um, to the team they were uh, actually doing uh, training on the turrets so they haven't been uh, they weren't they were the last one to start strength training so anyhow uh, Logan is actually leading in strength training at 46 and he was uh, one of the latest ones so the reason why he's leading is because he was carrying the shinobi dude the shinobi assassin um, he started carrying the Shinobi Assassin pretty much from the very beginning of his addition to the team. So I had him mining with the Shinobi Assassin on him. And I think with the Shinobi on on his shoulder, I don't remember the encumbrance. I think it was over 50% though, like 60 or 70%. And then um, he was mining for forever since basically the time he got over here with a Shinobi. Because Logan picked up the Shinobi guy on the way back to uh, town after he was recruited. So anyhow, he was basically from the very beginning just training with the Shinobi dude. And that's why he's now leading. So I saw that and I'm like, holy, holy crap. Wait, hold on. Like, 
Logan is ahead of everybody in strength just because he was carrying, he was encumbered since the beginning of his, of his entrance into our team. So I'm like, you know what? Um, that's a really, really good way to train. I, I know I've been doing that. I know I've been um, doing strength training, but I wasn't doing it this way. So the way I was doing strength training before was that uh, I would encumber like four or five people. And then um, I would uh, have them walk up and down the the Squin Road here. And I would actually uh, manage them. Like, I would actually micromanage them walking back and forth. Like, four or five people with encumbrance. And that took a lot because I was doing all the work. <laughs> so this way is all automated. And uh, they are encumbered as they walk back and forth to the storage. And some of them are walking very long distances because I have a mining all over Squin. So this way, strength training is automated, plus they're mining, so we're making money, plus sneaking. So this is a really great way to train everything. Like, not everything, but like the, the important things. So yeah, uh, like I said, the goal is gonna be uh, to reach 60. See, Logan's already at 47. Yep, just as we are talking, <laughs> he's already uh, moving up in strength. So anyhow, this is uh, what I'll be doing until I reach strength of 60 for almost everybody. I think Molly's going to be the last one. I don't know why, but her she doesn't... Oh, she, she is carrying. I think, I thought Aria was uh, traveling to the storages more often than Molly. That's probably why Molly's like behind. Because Aria and Molly started strength training at the same time and Aria is at 28 strength and Molly's only at 7. So yeah, I'm not sure why Molly is uh, so much less. I noticed that she's not walking back and forth as much as Aria, so I don't know. Um, oh, jobs are stopped because the the things are probably full. Yeah, okay. Yep, they get full fast. The storages. So, uh, let's see here. Molly's close by, so let's see here. Yeah, okay. Um, I need to sell all the stuff because uh, everyone's not working anymore. <laughs> okay, ice. Okay. Uh, yes, she has the wooden backpack. Okay, let's open her up and... Have her go pick the stuff up here and sell them. All right, girl. Got to sell all this. Got to move all this out so that our people can start working again. <laughs> all right. Let's go over to the bar. Actually, let's go to the general shop here. This is general shop? Yep. All right. Everyone should start moving again once I uh, empty the bins here. Come on, let's let's go in. Go in, please. Let's stop the job thing. Go. Okay. Go in here. Out of sneak. All right. We gotta find the trader. I don't know what why, but there's a uh, <laughs> there's some like stuff uh, flying over the trader here. So sometimes I click on these things. Okay, let's trade. All right, uh, 16,000 he has. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and sell all of this. Alrighty, so we made uh, some money. Let's go ahead and buy the building materials and the iron plates. I forgot that I need, still need those. Okay, I think that's good. All right, and then I'll uh, go back and grab uh, the some copper. Yep, it's full. Uh, oh, hold on. Let me put the stuff away. Was it this box here? Yep. Oh, it's full. <laughs> we need more storage. And this box is full. Uh, let's toss these in here for now. 
I think I need to make another box. But yeah, let's go grab some more copper to sell, girl. Okay, there we go. Um, okay. Okay, let's go back to the general shop. I think everyone's working again, right? I just want to make sure. Yep, okay, everyone's moving. Okay, good, good. Good, good, good. Uh, show them your gear. I swear, where are you? Oh, let's go down a little bit here. I always forget to go out of um, fast mode. <laughs> Okay, let's talk to trader. Business. Okay, let's go ahead and sell all of this, please. And then I have to go get some more iron and put it... Oops, can't afford. Okay, let's go ahead and um, go across the street here. To the... Probably over here. Uh, the travel gear shop. Okay. So now that I've sold all that, I have to go grab some more to put her in her backpack to encumber her again. And I have Sunny following Ice and Carrie following Fire Song. Um, Sunshine, unfortunately, Sunshine has passed away. <laughs> I believe it was off camera, but uh, Sunshine got uh, killed and eaten by some bandits. Yeah. Yeah, I was having Sunshine follow um, Taryn around and Taryn got attacked. And I made him run away to towards the gates of Squin, and I totally forgot about Sunshine, and Sunshine was eaten. Yep, yep, yep. Alrighty. Um, I think that's good, right? Alright, let's go back over here and check our boxes, and then uh, let's see if we can sell any more. Go ahead and sell those. And, uh, yeah, we still have more to sell. Okay, good, good. All right, back over here, please. A little faster. I know you're heavy. Awesome. Go in a little further. Talk to the guy. All right, uh, let's go ahead and sell these. And then I'll sell the copper, but uh, she's gonna keep this, these stacks uh, for encumbrance. Okay, so I'll take that off. And then how much is her encumbrance now? 91, okay, good, good. All right, let's go ahead and have Ice go buy more food because um, since our team is so big now, we have to keep on top of the food. So yeah, basically guys, uh, this is what I've been doing pretty much. Just having them mine and they all walk back and forth on their own. Um, they're training as they do everything. And then um, sometimes I'll have one or two people stop and uh, go buy food and sell the, the ore and stuff like that. So, and then yeah, we just keep the, we just keep the uh, food barrel full. And then we just uh, sell and um, stuff like that. <laughs> so it's, um, I've been doing this over and over and over for several days, for several, several in-game days. So this is how I've been training. Um, I'm going to be continuing to train off camera. Um, because it's kind of boring. It's the same thing over and over. And, um. Even though I've been doing this for a while, I've only been attacked by bandits like twice. So, yeah, I haven't been really bothered by, uh, by <laughs> the bandits. So, let's go ahead and put these in there. And then I'm going to keep this because um, Sunny needs to eat. Okay. So, come out here, Ice. And uh, she's going to drop a few of the, a couple of this. Okay. Okay, Sunny. Ice. Sunny, are you not eating? 
Sunny, come here. Okay, there you go. You eating? Good, good. Okay, follow. And then Ice, let's uh, put your job on again. And yep, she's going to go. She's going to go do her job now. Okay, good, good. Yeah, so everyone's just moving about. Moving, moving, moving. Yeah, so I'll show you where everyone's mining. Um, here on this side is Molly and Aria. And then here, Ice is um, mining by herself on this copper node here. What is Ice doing? Operating machine? Oh, she's putting this away. Okay. And then over here on this iron node, I have um, I have Khaled, Sky, and Logan. Yep. And Logan, like I said, is uh, leading. 48. Yep. Just uh, just got to watch. Um, just got to let the game go, really, really. Just let the game play. And um, they just, it's pretty all automated, which is amazing. <laughs> and then um, on the other side of Squin here, here we go, all the way out here. This is the furthest, I think, the furthest spot over here. Um, this right here, there's a iron node here and a copper node here. And I have Taka, Griffin, and Taryn on these over here, on these nodes over here. And then on this side, I have Ruka, Kang, and Firesong. And this is the road leading up to bootleg here. Yep. So yeah, I noticed these nodes here and I'm like, huh, we should just uh, have everybody mine. So here we are. And there's Squin. <laughs> uh, show them your gear. All right. So as you know, as you can see, um, <laughs> the guards are checking us because, oh, Carrie, what's wrong with you? Hunger? Oh, Fire Song, you have food. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, check on Fire Song here and carry. All right, I'm so sorry, Carrie. Oh, she does not have any more food. Okay, Oop. let's go ahead and put the backpack back here. All right, um, I dropped some food here earlier, but I think Carrie ate it all, so she needs to eat. Okay, let's go back. Um, Stop your job, please, and sneaking. Uh, stop sneaking. Okay. And let's go back to the house so that we can grab food for Carrie. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> Actually, uh, Fire Song, go into this bar here. It's 2131. Let's just go in here and uh, buy some food. Go in here, please. Are you closed? Let's just uh, buy a whole bunch here. Okay, then come out. Carrie, where are you? Oh, she's still out here. Oh, Carrie. Okay, Fire Song, just come out here. Alrighty, Fire Song, drop a whole bunch of fish here, please. And Carrie, you have to eat. Okay, eat, 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 please. There we go. Good job. Okay, fire song, back to your job. <laughs> and sneak. There we go. Alright, we're good. Okay. Carrie, hunger's going up. Awesome. Uh, Sunny, why is your hunger going down again? Okay, ice. Uh, drop this fish for Sunny, please. Yeah, the animals get hungry super fast. Like, I have to be watching them all the time. Yeah. Anyhow, um, so basically this is what I'll be doing pretty much the whole time until I reach uh, 60 strength for everybody. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and it's probably gonna take me a few days. But uh, yeah, I'll see you after everybody is up to 60 strength. <laughs> all right. See you, in a, see you in a long while. <laughs> Day 90. And Logan is the first to reach the strength of 60. Yeah, I don't know why, but he, he gains strength really fast. He trains really fast. 
Yep. So uh, he's the first one to get 60. And then I think the next ones are Ruka and Kang. So Ruka is 55. Kang is 54. Everybody else is still kind of like uh, 40, mid 40s. That's amazing. I can't believe Logan was so quick to gain strength. Hmm. I wonder why. Because um, Khaled and Ice, I mean Khaled and Sky right here, they mine, they mine the same node as Logan, so they walk the same distance. They do pretty much the same stuff, right? But <clears throat> Logan seems to just be very, very quick. Hmm. See, he's walking back already. Is he the w only one transferring the ore? Because, <laughs> but no, even ice. Ice, my ice carries. I mean, ice mines this one by herself, so she she goes back and forth uh, every single time. Because I feel like uh, when there's multiples on one node, only one person does the carrying, the moving. Although I have seen Caleb moving around, so. I don't know. I don't know why, but Logan is just really cool. He's the first one to reach 60. And I don't even know why. Does it have anything to do with his uh, gear, maybe? He's got this, the um, leather vest, shoddy grade. Like, there's nothing special to it. This, shoddy grade, leather pants. And then the headgear, the turban. Maybe the... Uh, the turban helps with dust storms, and then um, the dust storms, maybe you can move better if uh, you're resistant to the, the weather. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, okay, what happened? Um, <laughs> so, Taka has lost, Taka has lost a left leg. This limb is gone forever. I don't even know what happened. I don't even know. I was just... Alright. I, <laughs> I had it on fast speed. I had it on fast speed. And I was like uh, way over here. I don't know. I was on the other side of town. I was... have. <laughs> it was on uh, fast speed. And I was just like letting everybody go. That Like they were doing their mining and automated... Uh, storage run and all that good stuff and then I see the Taka like passed out and I came over here and now all his stats are low and his left leg is now gone forever <laughs> I don't I didn't even see his I didn't even see his portrait flash red or anything I must have missed it oh my god but yeah he's like passed out here and he no longer has a left leg what the frick? What the frick? What the hell happened? Okay, so now that he's lost his left leg, but he's not dead, um, we can go ahead and get him a prosthetic leg, right? Okay, all right. We can actually do that, right? Yeah, I think the way station up the way there has um, a shop for prosthetics. So, all right, let me go ahead and have Taryn. They must have had they must have gotten into a fight because Taryn does not his not his stats are low too. Like yeah. Hmm. Huh. Okay. And then uh Griffin is over here. Griffin's fine. Griffin must have been making a run. A storage run. So he probably didn't get into the fight. But it looks like Taryn and Taka got into a fight over here. Taka lost his leg and Terran's uh, lost some blood. Okay. Um, all right. Let's have these guys out. Take take the job off of them here. Griffin, Terran, and Taka. I'm going to have Terran carry Taka. Terran, go ahead and uh, take care of your... Splint injuries. I don't have a splint. Pick up Taka. Oh, let's go on slow mode here. Okay, and then Taryn's gonna put Taka in bed. Where's Squin? Okay, right here. <laughs> I'm like all like 
Okay, let's go over there. And then Griffin, I'm going to have Griffin go to the way station and um, see if he can get uh, a prosthetic leg for Taka. Okay. So, yep, yeah, Griffin's going to be uh, running that way. Hopefully he doesn't encounter anybody, but we shall see. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put the backpack up here so we can have a little uh, weight reduction there. Same with Taka. Let's go ahead and put that up there. Okay. All right. Good, good. Griffin. Yep. Wow. Uh, I and yeah, I totally missed that. I totally missed the whole encounter. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is what happens. This is what happens. All right. Griffin is here at the way station, and I think it's this one, right? This mechanic, me 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 mechanical shop. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and have him go in there. Griffin. Okay. And then let's talk to this guy, right? This guy? Or this guy? Who is it? This guy, okay. Show me your goods. All right. So, uh, what's this? Where's the mechanical stuff? Maybe it's not the right one. Construction trader. Uh, this guy. This guy. This guy. Where are all the prosthetics? Well, uh, I believe. Stack? Does Stack and Blister Hill have prosthetics? Jeez, I forgot. I forgot. Alright, so Taka is unconscious. Yeah, even though he's fully healed, he's unconscious for how long? A thousand a hundred fourteen. Eleven hundred minutes. Uh <laughs> that's quite a while. Quite a, or eleven hundred seconds, right? Is it minutes or seconds? Maybe seconds. Alright, so I am gonna have Taryn. I'm gonna have Taryn run over to Stack and Blister Hill and see if I can find any prosthetics for Taka. <laughs> um, everybody's gonna stay working. Hopefully nothing else happens. But I'm gonna go ahead and take Taryn and have him go by himself. I think it's just easier to take care of one person. Okay. All right, so I will run over there and hopefully I'll see you over there without any incidences. Okay. I've already prepped him. Um, I took everything out of his backpack except for the essentials. I have one food ration, which is 125 NU nutrition. Um, and I gave him two of the first aid kits. All right, I am going to go on fast speed and just watch ahead really, really well. Because uh, it's too slow when I put it on uh, the, the first speed. Okay. Just have to be careful. Don't want to run too too far ahead. Just a little bit at a time while I watch the road. And I need to make sure I watch uh, everyone's portraits because uh, where are we going? Is it this way? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I need to make sure I watch everyone's portraits to for uh, the red. Because I seem to be missing... <laughs> I seem to miss it when they turn red. So I have to keep my eyes out. Yeah, usually when I'm too busy doing um, something like going to the trader to sell goods and try to uh, handle all the business and stuff I uh, I forget to watch the portraits and then uh, it goes haywire
Thank goodness Taren's a pretty good runner. He runs really fast. <laughs> okay. Nothing yet. Alrighty, stack is right here. Let's go. Alrighty. No problem. No problem at all. Turns really fast. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. Slow-mo. Keep my eyes on the portraits. I don't want anybody else to get hurt. Okay, so, uh, let's see here. Uh, where can they, where do they have the, uh, prosthetics? Armor shop? Maybe? Maybe, maybe? Taryn, go over here. Alright, no, nothing here. Okay. Uh, maybe I can buy some stuff. <laughs> I am over here. Might as well. Ooh, chain mail. It's very heavy though, huh? 10k. Mm, but the coverage is excellent. Alrighty, I don't think I need anything from here. Okay. Uh, what else? Where else can we check? Oh, yes. He has more armor. Okay. But no prosthetics. Okay. Uh, let me check his inventory really quick. Alright. Yeah, I don't see anything that is a must-have. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's try this headgear over here. I don't know. I don't think prosthetics are over here. All right, let's check it out anyways. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, let's go over to this place. Uh, boot shop. Well, we have some sandals. <laughs> um, maybe I'll buy a couple of those because uh, most of my people don't have the sandals. Yeah. Let's buy a couple of those. Uh, they're not very expensive at all, so... Why not? Buy a few more. <laughs> oh, a splint kit. This might be good to have. I'll buy one. Okay. No prosthetics, though. Not yet. What? What kind of shop carries the um, prosthetics? Alright, well, we're going to run over to Blister Hill, then. Taryn moving pretty quickly here. Who are these? Escape servants? We should be fine. Yep, we're moving at a pretty good pace here. No big dangers. All right, it is nighttime and we are at Blister Hill. Oh, up the entrance over here. Alrighty, let's go in. I don't think he'll have any problems. Okay, let's go ahead and slow down a little bit. Um, I need to check. Oh, I think the stores are closed. Okay, so, uh, so Taryn, why don't you just go rest somewhere? All right, so since it's nighttime and we can't go into the stores because they're closed, I'm just going to have Taryn sit at the table here until morning. Then I'm just going to go back and watch over my other team back at Squin. Okay. <laughs> oh, poor Taka. I can't believe that happened and I didn't even notice it. Ugh. Oh.